Alrighty guys, so I will be having a giveaway on my channel for this month. If you guys are interested in winning a Xbox gift card, a PlayStation gift card, or a Steam gift card, all you have to do to enter is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. I will be picking a winner through the comment section, so make sure to stay active. Good luck guys, and enjoy the video. How's it going YouTube? My name is Rich, or right away, welcome back to the channel today. What I got for you guys is, of course, another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. And I gotta say, it feels pretty good to say Black Ops 3 video because I've only been posting like Infinite Warfare, some Modern Warfare videos here and there, but mostly Infinite Warfare videos on my channel. And I want to come back and post some Black Ops 3. I know a lot of you guys still play Black Ops 3. I know a bunch of people are still on Black Ops 3 and not on Infinite Warfare yet. And that's totally cool. But I want to tell you guys that a lot of Black Ops 3 videos are probably going to be returning on my channel just because I love this game so much man I love Black Ops 3 to death I love the the competitive I love multiplayer I love zombies I love mod tools all that good stuff so I'm telling you guys right now that you know in the future you know in the near future Black Ops 3 videos are going to be returning hopefully you guys are excited for that um because if you guys are just drop a like on the video guys I know a lot of my subscribers are telling me to like upload Black Ops 3 you know upload trick shots all that good stuff because you guys really did like those videos so just telling you right now that Black Ops 3 videos should be returning very soon. I have a couple of videos planned here and there. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. I can get them done for you guys. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you guys have any kind of ideas for Black Ops 3 videos. But just want to let you know that Black Ops 3 videos should be returning on my channel and I'm excited. So anyway, in this one, what we're going to be talking about is the future of Black Ops 3. How, like, what are they going to do? What are they planning for the future while Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Master is out? What is Treyarch doing? What is Activision doing? What's the plan? So I'm going to be discussing some possibilities of what's going to be happening in the future of Black Ops 3, hopefully very, very soon, how they're going to implement, you know, DLC weapons, you know, map packs, all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, a like rating would be very, very much appreciated. Also subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. We are our way to 80,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And also, if you guys are interested in any Call of Duty points or free PSN gift cards or Xbox gift cards, link down below to free my apps. Go check it out. It's really, really simple. You download a few apps and then you can delete them. Redeem your points for free gift cards. It really does work. And if you guys are purchasing any control freaks, you guys can use the discount code RAID for a little bit of a discount. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. So in the title, you guys probably saw DLC weapons. You guys probably saw map packs, all that good stuff. So I'll break it down, man. I'll break it down. So I made a couple videos, um, I believe like a month ago maybe even two months ago talking about the final set of dlc weapons and black ops 3 they implemented more dlc weapons recently which was the diy 11 renovator the left e the bushwhacker and i feel like I, oh the d13 sector so they released four new weapons they released two weapons that you can use as, as a primary and then two melee weapons which was really nice but i don't think that's the final set of dlc weapons i don't think that's going to be the final set of dlc weapons because they weren't even the greatest weapons at all they weren't the greatest weapons if anything they were kind of like meme weapons in a sense because we we had a nail gun and we had like a pizza disc shooter like I feel like they really didn't take that seriously, so I don't think that Treyarch was planning to be the last set of DLC weapons. Now, like I said, I've made videos talking about the final set of DLC weapons um, like a month or two ago. I talked about how we had a bunch of lists containing possible DLC weapons that are going to be coming in Black Ops 3. Now, I'll flash like the list that actually we had and I talked about in those videos on the screen right now. So we had like the Desert Eagle, we had like FAMAS, which we actually got. We got like a flintlock pistol, kind of like the um, like the blunderbuss, and in, in case you guys know in AW, we had like the MP7. We had a sawed off shotgun. We had like a mini Uzi. So we had a bunch of DLC weapons that were going to be coming to Black Ops 3 possibly. And you know, I thought it'd be a really good idea if Treyarch, you know, brought all those DLC weapons from the list because there was a lot of nice DLC weapons. Like they had the opportunity to bring in the Galil, the Commando, like any other weapon, like the Desert Eagle, mini Uzi. Like they had so many opportunities to, you know, bring to us very, very awesome DLC weapons into the game. And I still think that Treyarch has some things planned up their sleeve because, you know, they want us to continue to make money while Infinite Warfare out of course it's a three-year cycle of call of duties being made so uh now we have infinite warfare the next one will be a uh, sledgehammer and then after that will be treyarch so treyarch they have a few years to develop a new game obviously but they still want to continue to make money so the best way to do that is dlc weapons of course people will buy supply drops if they add some nice dlc weapons like the galil like if people saw the galil or the mp7 or even like the ak-47 in supply drops in black ops 3 people would obviously buy that and you know that's going to be the future plans i think for black ops 3 and treyarch and all that stuff. Treyarch and David Von Der Haar, they already stated that they will be, you know, releasing content for Black Ops 3 when Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Master is out. They 
already made a statement saying that they will continue to upload content to the game while the new ones are out, while the new Call of Duties are out, IW Modern Warfare Remastered. So that's a very good sign. And I wanted to talk about DLC weapons because I know a lot of you guys are interested in DLC weapons. I know a lot of you guys want to get your hands on DLC weapons. So I'm thinking that Treyarch, what's going to be happening is throughout the whole entire year of Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, they will be containing and they will be, you know, releasing DLC weapons. I can almost assure you guys because that's what kind of brings in the money if you can, in, in a sense because what they do when they release you know dlc weapons they, people go crazy man people want to get their hands on those dlc weapons and there's a lot of dlc weapons in black ops 3 currently so when they release dlc weapons they're going to be getting a lot of money because people are going to be buying cod points people are then going to be buying rare supply drops and all that good stuff and obviously they want to get their hands on dlc weapons so i have a feeling that in the future in the near future dlc weapons will be coming into call of duty the black ops 3 i think that's a fact like i said Treyarch has already stated that they want to kind of upload and release you know new content while iw and mwr is out because they want to of course make black ops 3 have a longevity kind of feel because it was already a great cod and so many people are playing black ops 3 still like let me know in the comment section are you guys still playing black ops 3 even when I iw and modern warfare master is out are you guys still playing Black Ops 3? Like, I found myself, you know, playing Black Ops 3 once, maybe twice or whatever, while IW is out, but I'm still playing IW as my main game, but still, Black Ops 3 has, like, that special place in my heart where it's like, I want to go back on, and when I do go back on, it's like, I already know what's going to happen. Like, I already know what's going on. It's a really good feeling to go on Black Ops 3. So, let me know in the comment section if you guys are playing Black Ops 3. But I have a feeling they're going to be uploading new content, whether that's DLC weapons, whether that's map packs. I know I'm going to flash a picture on the screen right now. There was an image going around for DLC 5. Now, there is currently four map packs in the game. And, of course, when you're a season pass holder, you have access to those four free, um, you know, map packs. Well, they're not really free. You buy a season pass, and then right when the map packs drop, the four map packs, you get them, and you can download them right away so when you get the season pass you have access to all of those you know map packs but what if Treyarch actually releases dlc5 because i know that a lot of rumors were going around you know that dlc5 and map packs and, and the fifth map pack is going to be coming into black ops 3 i know they were planning on releasing another map pack with four brand new maps of course with another zombies map so you know Treyarch, they can really do a lot and there was an image that was kind of surfacing around youtube and twitter and all that good stuff and i'll flash it on the screen right now basically here's like a picture that shows to be like the playstation store it says dlc5 combustion now we don't know if this is real we don't know if it's fake odds are it probably is fake i'll tell you guys right now odds are it probably is a fake kind of picture but this is actually a very good sign because obviously this shows that the community wants dlc5 and i think that you know Treyarch will release another map pack just because like i said they're trying to get money you know it is a business they want to get money of course and the best way to get money is to release more and more content and when they don't have a game out for a couple of years that makes it so the company doesn't you know take in uh, as much money as they have you know had when black ops 3 was currently the, the current call of duty so so when black ops 3 isn't the current call of duty they have to find a way to somehow kind of intake money they have to get money into their company so the best way to do that is to release content and that's why i really think that Treyarch will be releasing content very very soon whether that's dlc weapons whether that's a fifth dlc map pack and if they do add a fifth dlc map pack i think a bunch of people that are currently playing iw and modern warfare mastered will visit black ops 3 again just because it's such a good feeling when you do get a map pack and i think people will really really get excited and so i'm hoping that if you have the season pass and if they do drop dlc 5 then yeah then you can get dlc 5 for free obviously you'll be able to download that right away so i think that's a fantastic idea on Treyarch's part i really and i strongly think that they will be releasing new content like they can go so many ways with dlc weapons you know they can go with uh, more melee weapons because you know you know how many melee weapons there in the game i believe there's like there's like 20 melee weapons or so in black ops 3 we don't have too many like assault rifles we don't have too many smgs you know lmg shotguns in the game so they can release you know the galil they can release classic weapons because i know in iw people love the classic weapon system in the game so they can release dlc weapons from past call of duty games i think that'd be a fantastic fantastic idea so anyway guys thank you so so much for watching i want to talk about the future of treyarch and black ops 3 i have a feeling though that they will be releasing new content even when infinite warfare and modern warfare master is out so i want to make a video just talking about all that good stuff let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see dlc weapons and map packs and all that good stuff from black ops 3 i would definitely like to see it so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video a like rating would be very very much appreciated also subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and if you guys are interested in free my apps if you guys want free psn gift cards xbox gift cards call of duty gift cards a link down below to free my apps basically you just kind of you just uh, download a few apps you get some points you can delete those apps 
after because you don't have to, you know, keep them on your phone, obviously. And you can redeem those points for free Call of Duty points when the DLC weapons actually drop them, or maybe even the map pack. So who knows? And if you guys are purchasing any control freaks, I use control freaks all the time. And if you guys are purchasing any, they're not too expensive. And also, if you guys want a discount, if you want to save some money, you guys can use the discount code RAID, which is really, really nice. And also, follow me on all my social media down below Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Snapchat. You guys can follow me on Snapchat. I use Snapchat all the time. It's just right away. So make sure to follow me over on there. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully, Black Ops 3 does release some DLC weapons and some map packs in the near future. I think that'd be the greatest idea on their part. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. But anyway, I'll see you guys on another one.